And so I believe that God wants to give energy. Now, let me just say this, is that I, I feel like the Lord said one of the assignments against this house is the opposite of that. And it is, when I was praying for you, I felt like there was a spirit of Belial. Let me just explain this, okay? A spirit of Belial, in the Old Testament, you kind of have to go back to King James to know what Belial is because more modern translations have taken the word Belial out. But Belial were always a group of people that were troublemakers. They, in, they instigated. They made accusations. They brought lies. They created scenarios and narratives that tried to take down the righteous. And there's been an assignment, I think, of Belial to make accusations and stir up trouble. Am, am I right? Am I right? Possibly. <laughs> but listen, this is what Belial means. It means to cause you to fail by wearing you out. How many have felt an unusual level of weariness? Okay, wait, let me see. Put your hands up. Okay, stand up. Okay. Let me just say, when there's this many people, it's not just you. And it's not just COVID. And it's not just Phoenix heat. Belial comes to try to create problems that wear you out, wear you down, get you distracted, get you off focus get you emotionally spent, get you stressed out. Come on. <laughs> the beautiful thing about Revelation is that when God reveals something, we take care of it in the spirit. And God begins to bring that surge of energeo into us that begins to charge us. Do you know how you charge a battery? You connect it up to a source. As a matter of fact, let's all stand. You know what? If I have a car out in the parking lot, and it's got a dead battery, what do you do? You get a car that's got a live battery and you hook it up to the car with the dead battery and you charge it. So I want you to take your jumper cable and reach out, touch that person that's next to you and we're gonna charge. Come on, we're gonna charge. Now just begin to pray in the spirit. Come on, charge them. Charge them. Energeo. Charge them up. Charge them up. Charge them up with the Holy Ghost. Charge them up right now. God, we break every yoke of Belial. We break every assignment to wear this house down, to wear them out, to wear the leaders down, to wear them out. We break the spirit of accusation. We break the spirit of troublemakers. We break the assignment of the enemy to bring strength. Yes. We break the, spirit of the assignment of the enemy to bring division. We break the assignment of the enemy that's trying to cause people to give up in the midst of the process. Lord, we decree right now, Father God, that there is new energy surging in to this place, God, because they're going to have to run and not be weary. They're going to have to walk. They're going to have to walk and not faint. God, you're kicking them into a whole nother level of uh, activity, a whole new level of assignment. And so, Lord, we break every assignment of weariness. We break every assignment of tiredness. We break every physical assignment that's come against these bodies. Every long COVID, God, that's worn people out, worn people out, giving them an inability to breathe. Right now, God, we breathe the breath of God. We breathe the Ruach of the Spirit. Lord, we listen to them right now. In Jesus' name, give the Lord a shout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Charge them up, God. Charge them up, oh God. Charge them up for this new day. Charge them up for this new hour, God. Pour out your spirit. Bring the spirit of breakthrough. Bring the spirit of supernatural energy. Bring the spirit of joy. 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 The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength, God. We loose it now in Jesus' name. Whew. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.
Turn to your neighbor and say, thanks for praying for me. I feel so much better. Whew. Just a couple more things. Because I know we got to hurry because Jesus is coming and lunch is calling. And Tommy's ready to preach tonight. <laughs> But let me just hit a couple couple more points on this, okay? Is that part of this whole Pentecostal fire, the purpose of it is not just so you burn, but the purpose of it is so that you can become harvesters. And this is what I heard the Lord say this morning. He said there's fresh outpouring and fresh fire that he's bringing. But he wants to kind of clarify, how many of you have come in in the last seven years? Come into fresh start, okay? Some of you were here before. So the Lord, the Lord says, actually, the last seven years have not been the revival. He said, what's been happening is I've been bringing a harvest of harvesters. You got to have harvesters before you can have the harvest. So how many harvesters do we have here? How many revivalists do we have here? How many prophetic generation people do we have here? How many are willing to say, here am I, Lord, send me. Here am I, Lord, use me. God, I want to carry your revival. I want to carry harvest. I want to carry the vision to go out and begin to reap. Now, let me help you to understand one of the reasons that, um, that, I prayed for you last night for that prophetic mantle to go with this is because part of the harvest when it's going to come in has everything to do with what God is doing in pouring out his spirit. Because I want to take you back to Acts chapter 2 after the day of Pentecost and on that day, Peter, uh, Peter got up and he said, this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And he said this, in the last days, I'm going to pour out my spirit on all flesh. Everybody say all flesh. He did not say Christian flesh. So we actually find, like, in the book of Daniel, great prophet Daniel, you know the first person to get a revelation from God, a dream from God? It was not the holy prophet Daniel. It was this wicked, violent, pagan king, Nebuchadnezzar. And God positioned Daniel next to Nebuchadnezzar to interpret his dreams and bring the word of the Lord. Same thing with Joseph. Some of you work with Nebuchadnezzars. Some of you go to school with Nebuchadnezzars. Come on, some of you are, have, have a circle that includes Nebuchadnezzars, people that God is pouring his spirit out over and God is speaking to. Yeah. 